I'm Paulette Lambert. I'm in the Wellness Kitchen at the California Health and Longevity Institute. Today we're going to make a Mexican chicken salad, a flavor fiesta in your mouth. We've got wonderful black beans with romaine and tomatoes, avocado, grilled corn, and our dressing is a light honey lime vinaigrette. Adds only 50 calories per serving, much better than anything you would eat out. First we're going to start with roasting some of our vegetables. What we have here is red and yellow peppers and fresh corn. And I'm going to just brush this lightly with a little bit of olive oil so they get nice and brown and golden in the oven. Roasting vegetables caramelizes them and brings out more flavor. So just a drop. We don't need very much oil. It's very, very light. All these bright colors, the red, this pepper, the yellow of this one, the yellow corn, all of this means it's very, very high in antioxidants. The brighter the color, the more antioxidants. We're just going to coat this lightly with olive oil so it gets nice and brown and golden in the oven. And we're just going to sprinkle a little tiny bit of sea salt for flavor. And we'll add a little bit of pepper too. We want our salad to have be a fiesta in your mouth. Lots and lots of flavor in this Mexican salad. We're going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 30 minutes until the peppers are nice and browned. And what will happen is the skins will get nice and charred and then we can pull off the skins and dice the pepper. And we want our corn nice and golden to have a lot of flavor. While we're waiting for that, let's make the dressing. So to start with, we're going to need about a third of a cup of lime juice, which is probably going to be three or four limes. What's really nice about homemade dressings is that they're so fresh in taste. We also can keep them very light in calories because we don't need to add so much oil to them as probably most of our commercial dressings have. So we can get a real flavorful dressing for very few calories. I'm just going to squeeze. Just put your lime in this way. This is great, these squeezers, because then we don't have to worry about getting seeds everywhere because it strains those seeds out of the bottom. And there's holes in the bottom of this that let the juice through. Oh, it smells so fresh. I have it all over my hands, but the lime juice smells so good. And to this, I'm going to add our quarter, our third of a cup of orange juice. I'm going to add just a tablespoon of a really finely chopped shallot, which is kind of an onion family, but a little less strong and sweeter. I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil, not a half a cup. That's only 130 calories worth of olive oil for the whole dressing. I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of chopped garlic, and a tablespoon of honey. So this is going to be really a sweet, tangy dressing. We have the lime juice that's going to give us a lot of kick and that acid with the orange juice and lime juice, and then we're going to have the sweetness coming from the honey. And just a little pinch of pepper and about a half a teaspoon of salt is probably plenty for this dressing. And then we're just going to whisk that up. Now again, what's so great about making homemade salad dressings, we can control the amount of oil. This whole salad dressing with the lime juice and with the orange juice and the oil is less than 200 calories, and this is enough salad dressing for six entrees. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just shred our romaine lettuce. Now a lot of people feel like romaine lettuce isn't particularly healthy, but it is a leafy green vegetable, and anything that has dark leafy green means a lot of vitamin K. And vitamin K is really important for bone health. It lets us develop the protein structures of our bones. So it is very, very healthy. In fact, one cup of romaine lettuce has a, over 125% of the RDA for vitamin K. So don't think of this as an empty lettuce. It clearly isn't. Very, very good at antioxidants and very high in vitamin K. We're just going to shred this up. There we go. So we'll be ready to put that on the bottom of our platter. We'll just let that sit for a second. Right here I have two cups of chopped tomatoes and I have a 15 ounce can of black beans that I've rinsed and drained. And I also have two grilled chicken breasts. Now, you think, if this is going to serve four to six people, I don't have that much chicken. 
but a can of beans is also vegetarian protein. So we don't need as much animal protein in the salad because we also have the beans, which adds vegetarian protein. Beans have as much protein as this chicken does, high in calcium, high in iron, and high in fiber, and no saturated fat. So one of the things that's great about making salads that you use a small amount of animal protein, if you use the beans, you get plenty of protein and a lot of extra fiber and nutrients as well. So think about cutting back maybe when you make entree salads, a little less fish, a little less chicken, and a lot more beans in your salads to make them really healthy. We're also gonna add jicama, which is a Southwest vegetable. And it looks like this in the market. You may have seen it and not know what it was. It's not a really pretty vegetable. It has a peeling on it. You peel it just like a potato. But inside is this nice, white, crunchy, relatively sweet, um, textured, real crunchy, real sweet textured vegetable that is great in salads. And so right here I have uh, two cups of jicama just chopped up and cubed right here that we're going to toss in our salad. So I'm going to cut the avocado in half. Avocado is high in fat but it's good fat. This is the omega-3 fatty acids that actually help your body decrease its inflammation levels. And that's good because it really helps um, prevent diseases in the body. One of the ways to get the pit out of the avocado is just to take your knife, and I would put this on the counter to do this so you don't cut yourself, hit it hard, and then just turn your knife, and out comes the pit without having to try to um, break the avocado. Now it's to get it off here is the harder part. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Now, to dice an avocado into a salad and make it come out in nice cubes, take your knife and just kind of score it through here a couple times. Just like that. We'll do these nice little lines through here. There we go. We're going to get nice cubes. And then we can just kind of turn that inside out, so to speak, and we're going to get our avocado already diced up in nice cubes and not too mushed up. Sometimes when you try to get it out of here, it gets really um, mushy, but this way we kind of cut it in the shell and it comes out a little bit nicer. Okay, our avocados cut. I think we're ready to see if our vegetables are done. Oh, there they are. Perfect. So our corn is nice and golden. Our peppers are roasted. These are gonna be a little hot to touch, but I think we can do this. So the skin of the pepper has somewhat blistered here, and it's a little dry, so we can just pull that right off before we slice these peppers. It just peels right off because it cooked on here, and it wrinkled up, so it's so easy to peel it off and trying to peel off the skin on the fresh pepper. And then we can just slice our pepper right into some nice strips here. This roasted pepper is gonna add a lot of flavor to this salad. And that's great that we have raw, crunchy vegetables, and then we're going to have some cooked vegetables in this as well. So it'll give us a variety of textures. And again, we're pulling off that skin. It's a little tough. And this is beautiful, dark, dark red color. It's really high in antioxidants. High in an antioxidant called lycopene. Anything that's red has an antioxidant called lycopene. Very important in protection of certain kinds of cancer. So that's our pepper, our red one, and here's our yellow pepper. And a beautiful, brilliant yellow colors. Peel again, just pull off that peeling. You can also uh, char these right on your gas grill. Just put the olive oil on them, put them right on the gas grill and let them char, and the skin will turn all black, and then just take them off and that skin pulls right off. And again, this roasting gives us a different texture and a little bit different flavor. peppers. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corn off the cob. Roasted corn is so good. This is going to really give our salad a little bit of sweetness. all of our vegetables. As you can see, there's a lot of vegetables in this salad, and this is what's so great about entree salads. It's a great way to get three or four servings of vegetables in one meal. Actually, a cup of lettuce, which is a good-sized handful, is one vegetable serving. 
any cup of raw vegetables is a vegetable serving and a half a cup cooked. So we're gonna have a lot of vegetable servings in our entree salad. We're gonna do a composed salad. Instead of tossing it in a bowl and tossing it all together, we're gonna do a really pretty presentation. So what we have is our platter and I'm gonna line it with our romaine lettuce as a base. Gorgeous, beautiful green color. Nice and crunchy lettuce. And then we can start putting our color on here, all our different vegetables. So let's start with our beans. We'll just pour those in like one pile down the middle here. So that gives us our dark, kind of almost black color with our black beans. Then I think we need some red tomatoes. So beautiful. And we probably could put another row. We'll put another row of tomatoes here. We have lots of tomatoes in our salad. Lots of um, lycopene, lots of vitamin A and C. And then let's put a couple rows of corn. Let's put on some of our, we'll put some red pepper on the end out here. We'll put red on one end and yellow on the other side. I think I could have used a bigger platter. We have a lot of vegetables. Oh, great color though. And then we can put some jicama. We'll go right here. We want to make sure we still see our beans, so we'll add our jicama here. And you can pile this up high. Great avocado. I think we can stack that on the end down here. And, oh, our grilled chicken. If you'd like to serve this as a vegetarian meal, I'd suggest you add one more can of beans and just have more beans. But since we have chicken also, we don't need quite as much beans. And I'm just going to put that chicken down in a couple places across our salad here. We don't want to cover up all of our veggies. And we just took grilled chicken breast and we just sliced them thin. What's nice about a composed salad, people can take what they like. If they want more tomatoes or if they don't want the chicken, they can leave it out. So it makes it real easy to just kind of be more selective and choose what you'd like to eat out of this. There, it's gorgeous, gorgeous salad. One last thing, we're gonna sprinkle it with some fresh cilantro to give it a real Southwest Mexican flavor. So we're gonna cut, just chop up some fresh cilantro real quick. This is such a beautiful salad. We have beautiful colors, great textures, great contrast to taste, the mellowness of the beans, the crunchiness of the jicama, the sweetness of the roasted peppers. I can't wait to try this. Beautiful. And then you just want to kind of lightly sprinkle cilantro over your salad. And that is our beautiful Mexican chicken salad with honey lime dressing. Now, you can just drizzle your dressing on, or you can serve it on the side and let people put it on themselves. So I'm just going to lightly drizzle this over the top. You can also toss this salad in a large bowl and just serve it as a mixed salad. But it's so pretty when you do a composition salad like this because you get all the different colors and flavors. And it's kind of nice for people to get to choose what they'd like to have on their salad. I want it all. I'm not gonna just choose one or two things. I'm gonna have all these vegetables with my chicken. And there it is, our Mexican chicken salad with our honey lime dressing. It's like a flavor fiesta in your mouth. I am so ready to eat this. I am Paulette Lambert from The Wellness Kitchen where everything's nutritious and it's always delicious.